What is Canva? In this video I will present you uh, the basic settings or what you can do the, with Canva. Hello, my name is Gabo Bruno and it's sometimes I heard from my friend or from different sources that Canva can be used as an image editor. I tried it, in fact, and I, but I can say that it's anything else but not an image editor in the sense like we know it like Photoshop, for example, Lightroom or some other image editor. But uh, Canva is perfect tool for banner creation. Yes, there is also option for basic editing of photos, something like uh, cropping or changing colors, filters. But uh, if you really want to make a image editor, this is not uh, Canva is not for you. So let's go to the page Canva.com. So first of all, send your name, uh, set your name, Bruno and tell us what you do. In fact, uh, Canva is free and uh, they want to know if you are student or if you are entrepreneur, which are the other options, because la once you are entrepreneur or you are using uh, Canva for your business, you are supposed to buy a free or a paid version. And I will sign up with Facebook So this is my Facebook account and as, as you can see, I sign up easily and this is the main screen which you get. Again, you can invite some collaborators, but once you invite people, then it might be the problem that you will have to pay as a pro version. So let's skip this step. And first what you need or what is required by Canva is to choose your design. And now you can see different types of infographics which you can use for free, you can edit or use in a social media activities. So for example, there is a marketing, okay, for example, this brochure. So go to this brochure, you can browse through all these categories and working with Canva is really, really easy. This was the brochure which I chose and this was only one example. And here I have the plenty of other examples. If I went for social media banner or whatever else, I would also have so many examples. So let's try maybe this. This is two page, two pages brochure and I will edit both, both of them. University, this is something like three folder which has two both sides. University, Canvas, everything what is here can be edited. So for example, let's edit this image. You can see this image is here and I can replace it. I can replace it either by another image which um, is here in database or I can replace it by my image. So first of all, let's change this image. This is not image from my university or not image which I like. I go to elements and maybe find some image from university. And here are plenty of images. I like, for example, this image. So I will take it here and replace. It will automatically replace my image. I can resize it by dragging in one corner. Now it's done. The small image maybe I have, I prefer also maybe this image. I can either this under image delete or it will be replaced automatically. If I click it here, you see it was replaced automatically and uh, I will replace this image and it is automatically replaced. So here is the text. There are more feature, feature do working doing with the text. I can change the font. For example, this is EXO. There are different, for example, this font, as you can see, it was changed. I can change the size. Maybe 
maybe to 24. I can change the background color. Maybe I prefer this color. Also, I must change the background color here. Again, this color. Or I can type here RG, RGB uh, parameter of the each color. So this is now my folder. Change the I don't know Brighton University. I will change. I might change this contact address. And it's very simple. If I go back to templates, I can add a new page and simply drag and drop the second page of this three folder here. And again, change this uh, watermark will not appear once I make the output. So this is how uh, Canva works in this uh, ordinary or all the graphics which is included. If I click here, download, I can uh, type it, uh, I, I can download it in PDF, all pages, and uh, I have one premium image which I have taken and I must pay for it $1. If I don't want this image, then um, I can change it for something which is free. This is uh, download. And uh, I will show you now how to work with photos or what can you do with photos. And uh, in this case, go to file, create new design. Uh, for example, this is full HD. I like it. So now I will get a new canvas and upload my own picture. So I will upload an image, just drag one of here from the desktop. So I will open my images. This is nice image. I will drop it, drag it and here. And once it's uploaded, I can use it for my editing. So here is the image. What I can do here, I can resize it. You see, I, it must fit to the screen. So I will resize it even more. Here we are. So I resized and it's uh, some lady with flowers, probably bright, I have no idea. And let's, let's imagine this is a bright. So you, I can use the filter I can use the filters, for example, if I want grade scale. Now it is, it needs to recalculate. It's a grade scale or maybe some different colors. Sometimes it helps to make your image better. Sometimes not, I must. So you see these colors are quite strong for me. So at this moment, I will not use any filter. There is some adjustment, for example, in this situation, maybe I want to put it into background and this lady is already blurred and but the flowers are sharp. So maybe I want to blower, blur it maybe 25% so or 31. So you see even the flowers are now blurred. It's maybe too much. I will make it 22. Great. Now we can put some text. If I don't like it, I can even crop the image or flip. So I will not do it now. So this is all manipulation which you can do with the image, um, which it can be done in very basic uh, any desktop software which you have also in Windows or Mac. So this is not really the, the image editor, but now I can add the text. 
and here are the different font many different font and there are also the sets of different fonts for example if I put use this one it's free and it might be I can change the colors which should be blue okay change this I can change the size here or here there are the same effects if I change the size here and now I can edit it welcome to my wedding maybe I want to make it bigger and here you can see there is a something uh, like black text so um, let's say Mariana Peterson let's make it a bit bigger 36 and bold maybe maybe this font doesn't exist and bold so this is all what you can do since everything was free now I can download it as you see PDF but I can choose any file JPEG PNG uh, PDF standard PDF printed and it can be some animation but already this is a paid version so I would have to use it pay version maybe let's let's put some more text something like maybe this one this is all is this very dark so I will make it I will make the font lighter maybe this color and for example, would would be charge, and here I can make a da date twenty seventh again. This is black, it's not very nice to see here, so I will maybe change this font, make the different color. The color might be, I have no idea, maybe this one. And maybe I will ch change the font because this font is very difficult to be recognized. It's not nice. Maybe this one. I can here add the color by simply clicking on the color scheme and you see it can, it will change the color okay so this might be some something like wedding announcement and this is all which you can do with images so once more I like this editor because it's very simple and the, the templates which are available are really great you can see there are many of them are pre-made you just change something in the text and you can print them use them for free but it's not um, image editors so don't expect some some uh, huge I don't know cropping or whatever that's all from for this video please leave us the like and I will see you in the next video